Welcome to the only daily podcast focusing on compliance news of the day. Each morning, start your day with a cup of coffee and Tom Fox, the voice of compliance, to hear about four of the top compliance, corruption, or leadership stories you will need to start your day. The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network. First, a word from our sponsor. The Daily Compliance News for January 25, 2023, the Public Intoxication but Full Confidence Edition. And we begin with that story from the Wall Street Journal as the CFO at Tyson's Food, who um, was found passed out in uh, someone's home who didn't know him and he didn't know, has agreed to plead to public intoxication. Interestingly, the board of directors, who of course are led by the grandfather of this CEO, CFO, have full confidence in him and do not believe that uh, this will negatively impact his work at all. <clears throat> so if there was um, ever a reason for uh, not allowing family members uh, in uh, companies, uh, I can't really think of a better example, but... Uh, well, a young man certainly has a problem, and it's going to be interesting to see if he can uh, handle the stresses of uh, Tyson's food. Next up from Fox News, um, a report on the uh, terrible power outages in South Africa, where 70 of South Africa's KFC restaurants recently had to close and 10 million chickens had to be destroyed because of rolling power blackouts. Um Homes and businesses have power cut for up to 10 hours a day. Why? Corruption. Um, the power company is was so bled out by those stealing money from it that they didn't invest in it. And, of course, now they are paying the price. So you don't think corruption matters? Well, it does. <clears throat> Next up, uh, from the Wall Street Journal, Risk and Compliance Journal, Dylan Tokar and Ryan Barber reporting a really... Uh, disquieting story about a former FBI agent who's charged with uh, bribery and corruption in taking payments from a Russian oligarch. A very high-ranking FBI agent was charged with sanction violations. Charles McGonagall, who retired from the FBI in 2018 and had served as special agent in charge of counterintelligence in the New York field office. More importantly, he led the uh, investigation into Hillary Clinton's emails in 2016 think the Russians weren't influencing that. Well, uh, now he's been charged with taking money from the Russians. And interestingly, he was arrested at JFK Airport. Was he trying to flee the country? Well, the article doesn't uh, give us that information. But if you're arrested at JFK, you're probably getting ready to leave. And our final story comes to us from Bloomberg, as uh, the United States Justice Department and eight states have sued Alphabet Google calling for the breakup of the search engine's ad technology business over alleged monopolization of the digital advertising market. Uh, The harm is clear, according to the Justice Department. New York, California, and Virginia were some of the states that signed on for this lawsuit. So let the antitrust wars begin. The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network and a proud member of C-Suite Radio. Thanks so much for listening. I hope you'll join me again tomorrow.